So, um, I came across this problem um, when I was uh, trying to figure out a way to characterize a diode uh, where I needed to, to know the resistance of a diode um, as it was in operation, right? But, of course, you can't stick the, uh, the, the, the ohmmeter on there while this is under power, right? So, I've thought about it for a while. Let's say you have, and I, and I came up with a way to do it. Uh, let, let's say you have this circuit here. Um, you have a voltage source, V. We're going to call it V battery. Uh, this is for a DC circuit now. Uh, just because typically this is VS, but I'm using S here. Uh, VB here. And you have load here and something called a shunt here okay and what we want to know is find the resistance of L while in operation so To attack this problem, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get the voltage off this shunt here, this Vs, and we, when we know that we can correlate that to the resistance of the load. Because we know if we know the voltage of the battery here. So, let's start off just by writing the Ohm's law for the, uh, the load, and we're just going to say the voltage of the load is equal to the current times the resistance of the load. And we also know, and this rearranges nicely to the resistance of the load equals the voltage of the load divided by the current. Now, here is um, an equation and we have three things that are unknown. The voltage of the load, the current of the load, but we're going to put our, our ohm meter here to measure Vs here, so we know this. So let's try and correlate that. And we can say that the current now is equal to the voltage of the shunt over the resistance of the shunt. And this shunt is just something we're going to put in place in series with the, the circuit, so we know it's voltage. We can measure that with a, a volt ohm meter and its resistance. We just know that before, maybe t temperature coefficients or something. And we can just put this in here and we get the resistance of the load equals the voltage of the load over the voltage of the shunt times the resistance of the shunt. But we still don't know this value here the voltage of the load. We're measuring the voltage of the shunt here. I guess, you know, really you could put your your, your ohmmeter across the load, um, but I like to think of this like load, you know, like in terms of, you know, this would be something um, uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a factory somewhere that's hard to reach and you can't just put a, a voltmeter across it, right? So, um, we know from um, Kirchhoff's voltage law that the voltage of the battery has to equal the voltage drops, the load, and the shunt across it. And that implies that the voltage of the load equals the supply voltage minus the shunt voltage. And we can just put that in here and we get the resistance, the load, equals
equals the, the supply voltage minus the shunt voltage all over the shunt voltage times the resistance of the shunt. And that implies, if we just rearrange that, resistance of the load equals the supply voltage over the shunt voltage minus one, because we're just factoring out, times the resistance of the shunt. And so now that's how you can determine the resistance of the load based on uh, the known resistance of the shunt, the voltage measured at the shunt, and your supply voltage. And the, for the traditional application of a shunt resistor, of course, you can take the voltage across the shunt over the resistance of the shunt, and you get your current through the, the shunt, which is, of course, the current through the load. So that's all for now. Um, so this is what I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing, and I uh, maybe someone out there can tell me what's wrong with this approach to find the, the load resistance. Otherwise, that's all for this uh, tutorial video. Merry Christmas.